Hello, this is Susan Smith Nash, and really happy to be here today. I'm talking to you about writing and different kinds of essays. Today we're going to talk about the description essay. One of the goals in the description essay is to essentially make life unforgettable. And we'll do that by creating unbelievably descriptive, wonderfully evocative scenes and um, connections to tactile, temporal, and emotional conditions, beings, states of being, <laughs> that, that will really communicate something to your reader. So let's take a look at some, some strategies and techniques. So here I am looking at a photograph I took in Sayulita, Mexico. It's, it was at sunset before a lightning, distant thunder, rain shower, storm. It was really beautiful. A warm August night with a full moon. Full moon was not really visible behind the clouds, but at any rate, it, it was really nice. So I wanted to talk about that and use the photograph as a point of departure. So here are the steps in writing a description. First of all, pick your topic. And as you pick your topic, describe and decide why it matters to you. And I highly recommend using a photo to trigger your thoughts and provide a topic. A photograph is really great too because it helps you keep focused and grounds you. As you get started, sketch out the elements. You can do it in, in the form of an, um, an outline or just a, an, um, something that would do it, be something like a mind map, which is always good. But develop your opening scene and make it catchy, snappy, hook your reader. And then as you progress, the second paragraph can be one in which you define what it is that you're describing. But don't use a dictionary definition. Create your own. Then add a background paragraph. Then blend in your personal history and opinion. Use those in the body paragraphs. And remember, in a body paragraph, you always want to have your, your, your uh, topic sentence tie back to your primary thesis. Add vivid details as you continue to tell the story. And then some deeper philosophical implications. Then as your conclusion develops itself, it's not just a recap, you're also looking to the future. So here's the photograph I'm going to use as a prompt. It's a trigger for my descriptive essay. And notice how beautiful the, the colors are. I was really excited that I was able to capture the colors as they really were. I did that by adjusting the shutter speed in my um, cell phone. Very cool. <laughs> and then check out the beautiful lights on the hillside and the hills overlooking. That's towards Sayulita. Uh, Punta Sayulita, which is Sayulita Point. And then notice the, the palapa, the, the, um, the roof that's made of, 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 um, fronds of palms. At any rate, these are just three quick slides, but these are great ways to help you get started with your descriptive essay.